Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, my alkalizing negative ion filter. What we're looking for in water is, um, well, good clean water, well filtered water. You don't want purified water, reverse osmosis or distilled water. This is really bad for you. But what you want to try to get is a negative charge and really a lot of alkalinity. Well, that's what you'll get from ionized water, alkaline ionized water. And that's why I've promoted it for all these years and why it's the healthiest thing you can possibly put into your body because there's nothing better for you than water and there's no, no, there's no healthier water in the world than alkaline ionized water. Well, you can achieve similar results, not the exact same thing because there's no, really nothing like a water ionizer. What you're doing there is you're, you're uh, running the water over positive negative electrodes, creating positive neg negative ions in the water, and then you're separating them. So the negative side is what you drink. Well, you're not doing the same thing with this kind of a filter, but you're getting similar results. They've been using ceramic beads now to water in water filters for many years, and uh, they're actually their production methods have become very, very sophisticated. Uh, 15, 20 years ago, there might have been two or three of these, and they weren't really didn't work very well. But now they work excellent. Um, again, they're pretty close to ionized water, but not exactly the same thing. But let's just say, if I couldn't afford a water ionizer, I'd definitely get myself one of these things. Now, what you've got in here is tourmaline ceramic balls, farm for red ceramic balls, negative ion ceramic balls, this one's microporous ceramic balls, alkaline calcium ceramic balls. So each one of these media in here is going to do something different to the water. It's going to drop the, the charge, the ORP, the oxidation reduction potential of the water, it's going to go into the negative. It, the, and when that happens, you're going to raise the pH of the water. So the pH is probably going to get up there maybe 9, 9.5. I don't think it'll get as high as 10, but somewhere probably 9, 9.5, somewhere in there. Your negative charge, again, it always depends on your source water, but it's going to get down there about 200, maybe 250, maybe 300. And then uh, you're going to see a lot more hydrogen in the water if you're actually able to, you know, measure the amount of active hydrogen in your water, you'd see that go up to probably three to 400 somewhere in there. So what you're getting here is a really kind of a mild form of ionized water. It's not the real thing, but it's close. It's very close. It's better than the alkaline stick. Um, I've sold this for years. Um, and this is again, it's just like a travel stick. You can take it around, put it in your jug and uh, drink your water throughout the day and it'll give you kind of like a very very mild version of ionized water it improves the water it makes it more alkaline it drops the, ch the charge in the water it doesn't go into the negative but this is going to be a lot stronger because you got a lot more contact time here so you're going to be able to get some pretty decent water out of this and just from a filter like that so that is my uh, my ceramic ball filter for alkalizing and dropping that charge. I think it's great. Uh, the water tastes fantastic afterwards. And I think you're really gonna like this and you're gonna like the taste of the water and what it does to it. Um, it's kind of a poor man's water ionizer, <laughs> let's put it that way. Dr. Bob McCauley and I'll see you guys next time. If you like my work and my philosophy, you might like some of my books, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Seven Components to Great Health, Silver, The Miracle Mineral, The End of Infectious Disease, God's Path to Disease-Free Living, What the Scriptures Tell Us About Health.